Good morning. Uh, so I don't know if you guys can tell, but we're back, baby. All right, but yeah, we're actually only back for a couple of days. <sighs> Look, a lot's happened since the last time we've we've seen each other. <sighs> it was a it was an exhausting day to say the least. So, you know, we're supposed to take the train from Busan to Seoul, right? You know, there's trains every 20 minutes. So we're guaranteed a spot on the train, right? Because there's a train every 20 minutes. So we show up to the train station it's like, you know, 10.30 in the morning. It's its usual busy. You know, remember, haven't taken a train in South Korea at all. So, you know, a little normal day. We're going to the train station. Normal amount of busy. Trains every 20 minutes to Seoul. So we go up to the ticket counter because all of the ticket machines actually say domestic card only. That was actually very inconvenient. So you do have to go up to the ticket counter. I was hoping I could just go to the ticket machine, but it says only domestic or cash. But going back to this ticket counter, we, uh, we go up to the spot and we ask the lady, you know, two tickets to like the next train to Seoul that we can get on. And it's sold out. I was like, oh, okay, like, well, we asked for the 1210 because that was the next train. She said they're all sold out until 930 that night. And it was one of those, like, I wasn't sure if it was like lost in translation. He wasn't sure if it was lost in translation, but he, he has to get like, there's no trains to Seoul right now and she said no even standing standing third second and first class was all sold out at 10 30 in the morning it was sold out until 9 30 that night so we wouldn't have gotten to Seoul until midnight and huh, we have an international flight to Chiang Mai at 6 p.m and there are no trains to Seoul. Oh, so it's one of those, we have to like say thank you and just back away from the counter because we, we just don't even know what's like, going on. How are all the trains sold out from 10.30 in the morning to 9.30 that night, a train every 20 minutes in between Seoul and Busan is sold out. That is crazy. That is either a, a lot of people are traveling between Busan and Seoul or the trains are just really small. Cause I, I don't know. Obviously I was gonna take you guys with me and I said I was gonna pay for everything and I apologize. I apologize guys. It was, it was meant to be the trip of a lifetime and it was. I, I just sorry I didn't really take you guys along because as soon as that happened, it was like, what do we do? We have to leave this country and get home. We have to. We, we got our visa approved. We're here in Thailand for 60 days. Yes, another 60 days here. Let's go. Fantastic, and we're here. I got 60 days. Going back to the story though. <sighs> so yeah, we leave the ticket counter and <clears throat> excuse me. Oh yeah, I, I started smoking again. I hadn't smoked the entire time. Well, we, if you guys remember, oh, actually I don't know if I did on YouTube. Uh, uh, Japan has synthetic stuff that's not real. Ah, this dog. This dog. What up, dog? Yeah, the stuff in Japan is not this for sure. 
But uh, yeah, what? going back to the story. So yeah, we had to get back home. All the trains are sold out to Busan. I apologize I couldn't bring you along with me. It was a fun travel day. This dog, yeah, that's because that's his house. That's his house. That's why he be barking. Uh, so, okay. The, the next plan that comes to my head and Lex agrees, let's, let's just get in a car and drive to Seoul. Yeah, you know, it's only like a four hour drive, four, four and a half hour drive. It's probably not gonna be that expensive, but you know, let's let's go to the taxi stand. Let's ask some people, can we get a ride to Seoul? How much is it? Cause it wasn't looking good. As did the grocery haul. Got myself a nice bottle, some Coca-Cola, some chips, cause I got the munchies. Cause like I said, the stuff in Japan is not near as good as this. And I hadn't smoked in 27 days. But going back to the story, I had to fix my glasses. Yeah, so we go to the taxi stand and obviously when you travel to South Korea, you'll realize nobody speaks English. Going on though. So I put in my uh, translate app, I want a ride, this dog, <laughs> I want a ride to the Incheon International Airport. And uh, the guy says, sure. I ask him specifically, how much? And he says, meter. And I'm like, okay, Incheon, International Airport in Seoul by meter, okay? Okay, meter, Incheon, Seoul. It's like, okay, cool. And this dude, we're on, we take, we take, the, we take the car and we start driving towards Incheon, Seoul, the airport. And, uh, you know, it's, you go northeast to go northwest in a way, because I guess South Korea probably has two really big mountain ranges. So you have to drive around the mountain ranges in order to uh, get to Seoul. So, you know, we start driving and like we cruising. So it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of propping my feet up. You know what I mean? I'm ready. You know, whew, weight off my shoulders. I'm on, I'm, on, I'm on the way to Seoul, the airport. I don't care how much it costs. I'm on the way to the Seoul airport. And we probably get about 20, 30 minutes into the taxi ride. And you start to see that we veer off a little bit and we're going towards the airport. And it's like, oh man, this is this is not what we wanted because our flight is out of Seoul, not Busan. We need to get to Seoul. But obviously it's like, okay, maybe we got lost in translation. So we'll just go from here and uh, we'll see if there is a flight to Seoul here. Hopefully the plane's not sold out and hopefully it can get to Seoul before 6 p.m., which is our next flight. And hopefully it goes to the right airport and not an airport that's like two hours away. So we just fly closer and then have to cab back, you know? And this is where it, it just started getting lucky and everything started setting into place. We showed up to the airport and uh, there was literally a flight we arrived at the airport right around noon and there was a flight that was leaving at 12.10 but got delayed by an hour and like 10 minutes. <laughs> that was a close one. I just had two trucks intersect me on a small side. But yeah, so <laughs> they, the flight was supposed to leave in 10 minutes but it got delayed like an hour and 10 minutes. So Lex and I were able to basically get on that flight that was supposed to leave in 10 minutes, but is now leaving an hour from now. 
perfectly timed, you know? <sighs> so, uh, we also get exit row seats. Everybody on the plane is delayed because their flight's about to leave in 10 minutes. Lex and I show up to the airport two hours late, obviously, two and a half, even though it's a real small airport. So we just basically roll right up. As soon as we get to the gate, they come out apologizing. They bring Coca-Cola, they bring orange juice, they bring some tea. The customers are very upset because they've been waiting two hours to have their flight delayed another hour. And from what I can tell, this is probably like a routine like flight for people because here there's also flights like every half an hour to an hour between here and Seoul because the tickets were only like $80 each. And thank God we didn't take the taxi driver because he wanted $700 to drive from Busan to Seoul. We tried to talk him down to 350, but he said no. So yeah, we show up to the airport, pull up, get exit row seats, chilling. It flies us to a place called a Gimpo, Gimpo International Airport. And uh, Gimpo International Airport is basically like an hour drive to Seoul. And you can tell too, when you get there, when you go outside, they literally have a taxi line for the Seoul International Airport. And then standard taxis, deluxe taxis, and jumbo taxis. So it was like, ah, oh, cool. Super easy. So then, yeah, we just take the taxi. The taxi takes us to the Seoul International Airport, which is really just out there. Woo! They're, uh shooting off the fireworks because these guys are driving around in their fields. Oh yeah, that's gonna be the next update. But yeah, so we get a flight from Gimpo, take a taxi from Gimpo to Seoul, check in. And if you've been to the Seoul International Airport, you know it's huge, there's luxury, there's food. So we just basically chilled in the lounge for like an hour or two got a free meal and then just got on the flight and we're back home. Thanks for tuning in. <sighs> I'll catch y'all next time. Oh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know you enjoyed our story of our travel days. I'm sorry I didn't bring you along, but I was on the edge of my seat all day and I didn't want you guys to see me in that kind of a state of mind. Thanks for tuning in.